7.53, which, you know, would have been a great time to wake up and start my day. But today, or should I say yesterday, I woke up at 8 p.m. <laughs> my sleeping schedule, you guys, is insanity. I don't even... I don't know how this happened, but yes, I wake up at 8 p.m. So basically what I'm saying is I need you guys to help me stay up today, not go to bed at one and get back on a proper schedule. <laughs> also, you know, I've just really been craving an old school, just me and you chilling at my apartment vlog where nothing of any substance happens. <laughs> You guys just come and you join me on my very introverted, independent, cat lady aesthetic life, you know? Spooky, how have you been? Can you say hi to everyone? Can you let them know how life has been with Rini Chan? Are we adjusting? <laughs> Look how big my baby is, you guys. Where did my baby go? Where's my baby? Where's the baby we need? This is a full grown woman. <laughs> but real quick, I would just like to stop and take a moment to thank my friends over at Vanity Planet for sponsoring this video. Guys, if you're in the market for a beautiful, futuristic, classy toothbrush to set out in your bathroom, I have the toothbrush for you. This is the Elements Sonic Toothbrush. And the first thing you're noticing is, oh, what is happening? <laughs> what, what, why is, this, why is this lighting up? Well, let me show you. So you put your little toothbrush in here whenever you're done. And the UV light kills 99% of bacteria. That's right. So you no longer have to feel like you're brushing your teeth with a dirty, old, nasty toothbrush head, which is how I always feel with electric toothbrushes. And also I just love the simple, minimal design of this. It has four different modes, clean, soft, whiten, massage. But seriously, the absolute best thing about this toothbrush isn't even its beautiful appearance. It is how freaking clean it gets your teeth. This thing vibrates so much faster than any other toothbrush I have ever used in my entire life. It literally goes 40,000 sonic waves per minute and you can definitely tell the difference. But if you guys would like to give this toothbrush a try, I have an absolutely insane discount code. 75% off using code KALEL75. So all you have to do is click the link in my video description. What? are you doing cutie what is this biting the counter guys just look at my baby look at i mean ignore the fact that she's biting the counter or i don't even know what she's doing but how beautiful is my baby getting she's literally the best cat in the entire world like i don't know how i got so lucky but she's definitely not a bookie junior not that I don't love Boogie, but Boogie is a very difficult cat. And Rini is just, what does this smell like that you're, you're so obsessed? I don't know what, what to, what did I have here? <laughs> what is happening? I don't know you guys. I didn't know Boogie was in here and she definitely just heard me saying those things about her. Oh my gosh, boys, I'm sorry. I didn't mean it. I, I love you. I love you. Quick life update. So... A few things first of all i do feel my mental health is stabilizing <laughs> pretty much at, at the beginning of my depression which started i want to say like november of last year i felt like i i went like i was fine i was fine i was fine Ooh, all of a sudden i was not fine at all not fine at all quite bad really bad really bad really bad really bad really bad really then i started slowly coming up and then i'd go back down but then i'd go up a little bit more than i came up the last time but then i'd also go back down but not down as far as the last time and so the pattern has kind of started been like this now i have i have my days i've had a few days where i've been like oh my gosh i'm in the best mood ever and all of a sudden everything feels 
normal again and I feel like I want to do this and I want to do this and I want to go out and hang out with people and da 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 and then like a few days later all of a sudden it'll feel like I'm depressed again. Then there is um, my confidence which I really don't I don't want to like heavily address in this video because I just I know I'm really negative all the time about myself and my image and that's something I'm trying to just like stop vocalizing but um I will say I am at like my lowest confidence ever in life right now and so it, it has consumed a lot of my mental energy it is something I'm thinking about a lot I don't want to think about it I, I really would love to not care, but we can't really control what gives us anxiety. If we could, then no one would complain about anxiety. Usually the things that people have anxiety attacks about are not very logical. Um, but for whatever reason, I don't know, the the weight gain situation, which I know is a bit of a, of a sensitive topic. I don't think by any means like I'm overweight or fat or anything like that i'm not i'm not saying that but i've been super 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 skinny literally my entire life so obviously gaining 15 pounds feels like wrong like unwanted um maybe if like another year went by it would feel normal to me but it still doesn't feel normal to me and i still don't like identify with my reflection it feels uncomfortable especially because my face guys why does my face get so puffy? <laughs> I don't know. I don't know if you guys have seen it at this point or not, but I shot a video with LG. It'll either come out before this or right after this. And I almost just refilmed the intro and outro because I like editing it. I was like, why is my face this big? What, what is happening? I didn't have like ramen noodles the night before. Sometimes that can like happen and my face looks extra puffy. Didn't have a lot of sodium. I don't know why that day specifically my face just looked so big, you guys. And I, I really struggled. But anyway, uh, so I've been trying to lose the weight. And I have to say, this has been my first time that I've ever experienced struggling to lose weight. Uh, and it is definitely broadening my perspective. I never knew how stressful and upsetting it can be when you have an unhealthy relationship with food and weight. And I just have my days where I'm, I feel I did a really good job. I didn't eat junk food. I feel like I had the right amount of calories i'm not even like calorie counting or getting crazy with stuff like that but I, I'll, I'll say to myself okay i had three meals they were all a decent size they were whole foods like i should be proud of how i ate today da, da, da. and then i'll do that for three days and then i don't want to say i binge on junk food but like i yeah i kind of, I kind of have like a binge on junk food moment but the weirdest thing has happened to me I'm assuming it's linked to the to the depression because I have no other way of explaining it because this has never been something that I've had in my past but I will eat like a full meal a dinner like a 800 calorie healthy dinner and then literally right after eat like 600 700 calories of like dessert or like junk like you know end of day treats just one I'll, I'll, I'll eat one don't get me wrong i don't like say okay i'm done with my dinner i'm gonna take this and this and this and this no no no. so after dinner i will have one thing i will get one small little dessert and say okay i was good all day i can have this one little thing right um and then i'll finish that and i'll be like oh gosh i want something else i want something else i want something else i want something else and i'll have like three desserts <laughs> And that, in a nutshell, is why I've gained weight and why I can't get it off. And for a while, I was, like, weighing myself every day, and I would be depressed if I would, like, gain a couple pounds. And, you know, da, da, da. I've stopped weighing myself because it's just, like, I don't need the extra stress in my life. I don't need it. So it is what it is. I'm trying my best to be healthy, um, and my focus is on that. I actually really quite like my body with the weight. It's just my face that's really, like... 
I'm really uncomfortable. I'm extremely uncomfortable. And my skin got really, really bad. If you follow me on my Instagram stories, I showed it and talked about it, but it broke out really bad. It's all pretty much healing now, but I had some cysts. I got two huge cysts right here. They're gone now, thank God, but there are scars. I have one, guys, right now in my ear. I don't know if you can see. It's like... A marble it is a marble like who gets a cyst in their freaking ear I don't know I feel like 2019 has been the year of just like everything shitting on me and me trying to act like everything's okay and me trying to convince myself that everything's okay and to just I don't know this entire year went by in a blink I just keep thinking too, like, I want so much for next year. I feel like it's, it's like the start of a new decade, 2020. Like, 2020 is not going to be anything like the 2010s. Is that what we say? 20, the 2010s? The 2020s? The 20s? Now that we're getting back into, like, that kind of thing. You know, 20s, 30s, 40s, 50s, 60s. The 20s... I feel like I need to make the best decade of my life and I want to push myself to do so many things that I normally wouldn't do yada 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 I'm not even gonna put out into the universe the things that I want to do because we all know how I never come through with anything so I feel like by just not putting it out there maybe it will actually happen this time around but I do have things I've been working on things I really want to do um, I think since I was so isolated this year I'm a person of extremities, so <laughs> if you didn't already know that, since I was so isolated this year, next year, I'm going to just literally go and do so many things. I need to just like shock myself. I need to bitch slap myself. Like I just need to, you know what I mean? I just need to switch it up. Anyway, I said this was going to be a quick life update and it was really long and it was pretty much me just complaining about my image. What's new? And also, you know, I really do want to thank you guys from the bottom of my heart for being by my side through this and sending me so many supportive comments and messages. I read almost all of my Instagram messages and you guys have seriously like, see I'm eating. <laughs> Just eating like a snack. See, I keep healthy things. I have these like dried beans which sound really great but i stopped keeping junk food in my place because obviously i can't control myself anyway um i was trying to have a heart to heart moment and <laughs> i had to get something to eat um yeah no i really appreciate you being by my side i really appreciate all of the supportive comments and messages and been a long journey some of you guys have been with me for a really long time and that's embarrassing and also really special <laughs> um but yeah so wait do we want this or do we want something better i decided i could do better than the dried beans since you guys are here hanging out with me so i cut up some celery and i'm gonna dip it in this sunflower butter if you guys have never had sunflower butter okay you've never lived let me tell you this is so addicting so good and i mean high in fat but also high in vitamin e which is really good for your skin so by the way the next video i'm filming is a what i ate today video because i know you guys are already about to ask just by seeing me seeing what I'm eating right now. Uh, my very first what I ate today post-vegan life. A little scary. I swear, look at this cat. <laughs> Rainy. <laughs> Do you want food too? Are you hungry too? It's not your time yet. Maybe a little bit early. Why are you so beautiful? Hmm? Hmm? All right, just gonna sit down, get comfortable for an hour, and watch 
I actually, I need to start a new series and I thought about starting Euphoria since everyone's talking about it. Da, 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 da. Um, and I love HBO. And I really like, after Game of Thrones, I kind of was gonna cancel my HBO and now, you know, maybe it would give me a reason to hold on to my HBO. But still, this entire year, I've literally watched nothing but Korean shows and movies because I'm learning Korean, if you guys didn't know that. Um, I've been teaching myself Korean this entire year. And so I like kind of reinforcing what I'm learning by watching just Korean shows. Um, by the way, remind me to show you the Korean word of the week on my whiteboard back there. I should have done that while I was in the kitchen. I'll just tell you, I'll tell you right now anyway. It's, uh, the word of the week is See, I've trained my cat that when I make that sound, shht, shht, it means stop what you're doing and fucking run. <laughs> because a lot of people, I feel like you, when your cat or dog does something wrong, you just like yell. You're like, ah, da, da, and then that's like what they associate with bad behavior. But I don't want to like constantly have to yell at my cat every time she's doing something bad. So I've trained her to just react to a simple shht, shht, shht. Genius, I know. Anyway, the word of the week is kyopta. Kyopta, which means to be cute. Kyopta, kyopta. I really like that word. And yes, eventually I will make a video talking about how I'm teaching myself Korean because a lot of you guys, um, I posted the other day on my Insta story me writing in Hangu and I feel like a lot of people, I got like probably like 60 messages asking me how I'm teaching myself Korean and like praising my handwriting and all of that. So it is something I put so much time into. I'm probably studying about like 15, 20 hours a week and I'm addicted to it because I am seeing the constant progress. It's literally so crazy to slowly understand a language it's something I've never really experienced before. I mean, I took German in high school, but like, I, oh God, I was way too busy being into boys. Like I didn't take school seriously, hardly at all. Anyway, um, <laughs> it's so crazy how I went from watching Korean dramas and not understanding pretty much any of it to now I understand about like 25% of it. And it's just, the weirdest sensation to all of a sudden understand something that your brain perceived as straight gibberish once before. I just can't wait to just like fully understand it or like to get to like 75%. I think it's gonna be just the greatest feeling of all of my hard work finally paying off. But anyway, I will eventually do a video about my method that I've developed myself. Um, I mean, <laughs> Not really, but I'm not just following one simple thing. I have a whole routine. You guys know how I am, right? I think you guys probably figured that out. Uh, yeah, sure. Okay, but what new Korean drama should we start, guys? This one, Hotel Del Luna, I have heard so many good things about. Everyone's talking about it right now. Very popular. Um... But I'm thinking, oh, 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 this, which I believe is called Goblin in Korea. This one, everyone recommends. I've gotten, so many of you guys have told me to watch this. Um, and it's on my list. So maybe we start that. Mm, this is also on my list. What's wrong with Secretary Kim? Anyway, okay. I think, oh, Boys Over Flowers. Boys Over Flowers gives me the feels. Like, even though it's such a cheesy, stupid <laughs> drama, I love it. And like, it's one of the first ones I watched and it makes me feel happy. Anyway, okay, I think we're gonna watch Goblin. Guys, it is now 11 o'clock and Rini has just come onto my lap and is getting ready to fall asleep. This is not the most adorable thing you've ever seen. Just making the biscuits. Just making a fresh batch of biscuits. What is it 
about a purring cat that instantly makes you want to fall asleep. Like, I swear. <sighs> Give me the strength to not fall asleep right now. Because I'm so tired. I'm so ready. But I have to change this sleeping schedule, you guys. This is insane. I have to stop going to sleep at 1 o'clock. Obviously, I fell asleep. <laughs> you guys, I am... <laughs> it's like the world's worst jet lag, except I didn't go anywhere. And I just can't correct it. I don't know how long this is going to go on for. But, okay, it is my personal goal lately to get in 20,000 steps a day on my little Fitbit. So... I haven't quite reached my goal yet and it's getting pretty close to midnight so let's go to the gym and walk <laughs> i don't really do cardio just saying um i do like just kind of setting up my ipad watching a show and walking at, at a somewhat quick pace at an incline that's the most cardio you're gonna get from me. And I actually really enjoy it. I actually enjoy walking and watching TV more than I enjoy just sitting and watching TV. I'm not really the kind of person that likes sitting. Um, and yet I've done a lot of it lately. <laughs> I think that's a big part of why I gained weight is I would eat, 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 and then I would just plop somewhere. Um, that's obviously really bad. So let's go. To the gym. Best part about going to the gym this late? Not a soul here. Yes. Getting in those steps and watching at the same time. I'm just gonna do this for like maybe an hour, 45 minutes, an hour. <sighs> My gym also has Pilates machines, which I use a lot. Like normally if I'm gonna do any kind of sculpting, I use the Pilates machine. Love Pilates, been doing it for a million years. Not that uh, you can really tell. <laughs> I just wanna say, I know I said this already once before, but I don't hate my body. I don't hate my body at all. It's a face problem. That's the only reason I'm trying to lose weight is because of my face. My body. You know, it could be more toned, sure. Like, I don't have abs, but I'm, I think I'm one of the only people that like, I'm not dying to get abs. As long as my stomach is like firm, tight, trying to lose weight is hard. That's my biggest takeaway from this. It's so much harder than I ever thought it could possibly be. Mm -hmm. Life goes on, we'll get there, we'll get there. It always feels so good to just get those steps in. I pretty much walk eight miles a day. That is my goal. Uh, even if I'm not trying to lose weight, this is something I'm going to constantly do in the future because my life, my lifestyle, I should say, is way too sedentary. I am just, I'm not moving enough. I'm in my apartment literally all day, every day, and I'm not moving enough. So I actually really like having to like force myself to take 20,000 steps every day. It's actually not, even though eight miles seems like a lot, it's really, it's not, it's not that bad. I'm usually pretty like shocked at how early in the day I get it. This is like, I really push it to the end. But anyway, I am gonna go. I hope that you guys had fun hanging out today. Uh, one last thing that I wanna leave you with. I mentioned this on my Insta story the other day, but I feel like a lot of people are struggling right now in life. And I know I certainly have had a really difficult time lately. And so I just kinda want to offer some, I don't know if I'd say wisdom, but just like a little, a little quote that's been in the back of my mind this entire time that's kind of eased my pain and made me feel like it's okay where I'm at right now. Um, I said, I can't remember my exact words, but I basically said, you know, it's okay if you're not happy with where you are in life right now, because sometimes I think we need to be in the wrong place to get to the right place. I think in some way I needed to kind of hit this low point of my life in order for me to know which direction to go. I don't know, maybe that seems kind of silly, but I just, you know, I don't know. I, I feel like a lot of us, we feel, we feel such dissatisfaction with 
with our place in life right now. And a lot of that is obviously due to com comparing with social media and TV and reality TV and all of that, you know. Um, but I think it's really difficult to say find peace with where you're at and just know that it's part of your journey and it's happening for a reason. I'm not a spiritual person, so I don't want to say it's like God's plan or whatever. Uh, you can say that, but I don't say that for myself. But I do think that everything serves a purpose in terms of growth and perspective. So I think this low point is helping me grow and that growth is going to be useful in the future for some specific reason. So just wanted to say that and um, I will see you guys really soon, like really soon because like low key, I'm, I'm poor guys. I talked about this in my Insta story too. <laughs> I have no shame. I'm literally poor. I have not worked this entire year and I have pennies. So I'll be posting a lot. Um, not, ju <laughs> not just because I'm poor, because also because I feel like I'm finally in a good headspace and I want to return to work. Um, but yes, also because I'm poor, just keeping it real. You guys know how I do. Anyway, okay, I love you. I'll see you super, super, super soon. Okay, but wait, look at Rainy. Oh my gosh, my baby. My baby's so cuddled up, huh? Oh, she's even purring.